What is happening, y'all? Welcome back as we continue on with more Guardians. Yeah, old girl needs a tune-up. We are actually, we like, do it once we becoming reach actual I Guardians now. No bucket head trying, to, near my... wow. trying to save the, Talk uh, about cosmic gridlock. save the world, save the, well, I guess I save the galaxy is more appropriate. around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not oh, ever. Flark you! We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. Congratulations, Congratulations on your decision to, to join, join the, the Corps. Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Star Lord. Mom. <laughs> Sticks. This strategy is futile. Oh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Really? Please state your you celestial body or artificial, artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Earth. Finally. In a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join No Core. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world can parse that. Good job, boys. Oh. All right. So that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Groot wants you to pick World Mind. Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. I know. Let's join the core and rob him. Scroll down. Scroll down. Nova Prime's identity is confidential, and communication with them is forbidden until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? I know. Let's join the Corps and rob them. How about future crime? Thank, Thank you for being proactive. Huh. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. We should tell them about the promise. Thank you for attempting to be an outstanding citizen. As all prisons are being evacuated, you may self sequester wherever you wish. Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mine. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star Lord, and uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. Cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the Promise, sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has, has spread from the crew of a single star frigate. To multiple outposts, worlds, and systems, 
Axis 9. Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy. All lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually. The world mind is collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can, can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look. We just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? <laughs> because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. Th the point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We, we have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill-advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. And yet after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system knowing it wasn't safe. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads. We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons, the church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. Ha! Drax, he's as dumb as a stick and he ain't failed so far. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Core? It. It's not magical. magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. Force. It exists because we exist. And we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Breaker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did we not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the church's original golden god. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? 
We are, we are pleased. pleased. You reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Huh? You know what? Screw this. Cancel payment. Peter! What? It's not like Nova Corps is gonna come after us. They're leaving. Exactly. They're leaving. That was our only chance to get this disabler off the Milano. We can't escape the church with a locked ship. Who cares? By the time it activates, we'll already either be converted or dead. Peter, we've got movement. They're taking off. Chomp quill. I know. Can we just fly Trump's right into one of those little real. tubes? Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go. Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care. Just fix it. Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just can't do this right now. I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. If you're about to throw another tantrum, do it quietly this time. Hope you can hear yourself think now. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You... Forgot your toast. Ugh. 
Really? How did you... Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. Watch the llama is somehow central to, like, saving the universe. Screw it. <sighs> and the bed smells. Great. I mean, there's supposed to be music here. I'm guessing he's just like listening to music and falling asleep. I think that's what the fade to black is. Raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad uh, guys? It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. What is going on? Is this all a dream? There, let's go. <laughs> Who stumbled out of bed? The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... This has got to be a dream. Nikki! Tell me twice! I think we're, we're probably going for the... I wonder if we're actually here. Does that mean we probably need to go get that Infinity Stone and just figure out how that links to, the, to this thing. I know someone was saying that they think it's like the, the uh, alter ego of Adam Warlock. But I thought that was like a small child thing. Quill, wake up. 
Drax. We talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, we just need to have faith. What? Oh, no. Bro. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I... I Drax... I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? His, his hand is in a fist? Uh, yeah, totally. we're not getting beat to death by Drax. I am super stoked to see my mom again. And rejoin your daughter. D yes, right, right, my, my daughter. I knew you would see the truth of her light, Peter Quill. Yep, uh, the truth and light, dead. Not dead, uh, my daughter, it's all super great. This pleases me. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodents will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's going to be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. But Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I, I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's, that's, that's great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. Ah, there is no need. We must bring the matriarch here. We'll give them the time they require to consider her promise. Right. Uh, Right, because she's a million light years away, and it'll take us time to get there. Already landed on her planet. What? what? Why? Why would you do that? Well, if you had truly accepted her promise, you would know. Perhaps it is better that you wait here for a while. Contemplate your faith. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Well, everything has clearly gone to shit, but we are going to wrap things up here. So, y'all stay tuned. We will figure out what the, the plan is in the next part, and I will catch you all then.